When Queen Dolores was just a young child, her grandmother was old, sick, and dying of the plague. They were in the hospital, and the priest came to give her the sacrament of anointing of the sick. Her grandmother explained to Dolores the importance of the sacrament and the effect that it had on her life on earth, as well as her future life with God. Seeing this in person made Dolores decide that when the time came, she wanted to receive anointing of the sick as well. Fifty years later. Queen Dolores, I'm sorry to tell you this, but because of your old age, you won't be able to live much longer. Do you want me to summon somebody for you? Yes, please. Can you summon the priest? His name is Father John. I'll go get him right away. Queen Dolores looked over at her granddaughter, who was also in bed, dying of cancer. Your priest, Grandma, how is he supposed to help you? Well, my love, the priest is coming to bless me before I die. He has a special olive oil that he blessed, which serves as a channel for special graces from God that help to cure the mind, body, and soul of people who are seriously ill. In private, he puts the oil in my eyes, ears, nostrils, mouth, hands, feet, and loins. It is only given right before somebody is about to die. Oh, well, since I'm seriously ill with cancer and might die soon, should I get the sacrament too? The choice is up to you, but ever since I was a little girl, I have been called to receive the sacrament of grace. In the Middle Ages, due to high mortality rate and fear of death, the sacrament lost its healing communal dimension and was associated with last rites. Many people who might have benefited from the sacrament avoided it until death was imminent. Sometimes, if they were dying, they would only receive absolution and communion instead of anointing. Reconciliation became known with the deathbed rather than anointing. However, Queen Dolores was different. Due to her grandmother's good influence at a young age, she was ready to receive the sacrament of anointing of the sick. Two hours later. Queen Dolores, how are you feeling? I am here to give you the, the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. Through this holy unction and his own most tender mercy, may the Lord pardon thee whatever sins or faults thou hast committed. Holy Father, physician of souls and of bodies, who did send thy only begotten Son as the healer of every disease and our deliverer from death, heal also thy servant from the bodily infirmity that, ha that holds him, and make him live through the grace of Christ by the intercessions of all the saints. Father John, I am also going to die soon. May I please receive the sacrament just like my grandmother? Yes, Princess Catherine. Are you baptized in the Catholic yes, Church? Father, I have received all my important sacraments as well. Okay, then. Through this holy unction and his own most tender mercy, may the Lord pardon thee whatever sins or faults thou hast committed. Holy Father, physician of souls and bodies, who did send thy only begotten Son as a healer of every disease and our deliverer from death, Heal also thy servant from the bodily infirmity that holds him and make him live through the grace of Christ by the intercessions of all the saints. Sadly, a few days after Queen Dolores and Princess Catherine were given the sacrament, Queen Dolores passed away. Princess Catherine was supposed to be seriously ill in bed, but the servant noticed a change in her behavior. I feel so much better, Marie. Princess Catherine, the doctor has done some tests on you and your cancer is gone. I have no explanation for this occurrence. It's a miracle. I cannot believe this. God has truly blessed me. Princess Catherine's cancer was gone and never came back. After returning to her normal life, she dedicated her life to God and remembers and thanks her grandmother for teaching her about anointing of the sick. For the grace of God was what healed her.